Hey guys, Amanda Nelson here. I'm the managing editor of bookriot.com and today I want to talk about how to let go of your TBR guilt. I was recently on the Reading Lives podcast hosted by Jeff O'Neill, who is Book Riot's executive editor, and while I was on the podcast, he was he asked me about how I arrange my books and um, I explained at some point in that video that I have about 200 unread books in my house and that they don't they don't bother me at all and Jeff kind of pointed out that that's a bit strange that, to have that many unread books lying around your house and to not feel guilty about it and then a listener uh, in the comment section of that podcast asked me to make a video to elaborate about it so that's what I'm doing so TBR guilt TBR means to be read these are the books on on your list on Goodreads or lying around your house or whatever of books that you want to read but you haven't read yet. And I see a lot of, especially this time of year, a lot of people committing to reading through their TBR, especially books that they already own on their shelves before they go out and buy new ones, which is totally fine. If you want to never buy another book again and only read the books on your shelves, awesome, you do you. I'm not like that, obviously. Um, I own roughly 700 books. Like I said, about 200 of them I haven't read yet. Probably more, definitely more, if you count um, advanced reader copies that publishers send me. So they're everywhere. They're all over my house. And despite that fact, I still make regular visits to my library and I still regularly buy new books that I have read and or that I haven't read. And I don't feel bad about it. And so this is how, if you are interested in getting over feeling guilty about obtaining new books or bringing new books into your life, even though you already have a bunch of books around your house that you haven't read yet, here we go. Number one, stop anthropomorphizing your books. I know as readers we like to think about books as people, as friends, as these objects that sit on our shelves and have souls and feelings and like we get so sentimental about a book, but at the end of the day it's paper and ink bound between pieces of cardboard. And that's it. A book does not have feelings. If you leave a book on your shelf, for 20 years and never read it, that book is not going to feel bad that you've been ignoring it. That book is not going to feel anything. And so we've got to find this balance between being able to feel the way we want to feel about books, which is that they're precious and important to us, without stepping over this line of, make, of giving them qualities of humanity that they just don't have. Because then all that happens is you feel bad for ignoring it. Because we call, you know, authors call books their babies. Or people who really love collecting books, call them their children or their pets or stuff like that. And then when we give those attributes to an object, we can start to give that object more power over our emotions than they really deserve to have because they're inanimate. So, and I'm not saying this to criticize anybody. I have been there. I have been that person who's like, oh, I can't go buy new books because I have 10 books on my shelves I haven't read and they're judging me. They're not judging you. Nobody's judging you except yourself and maybe some creeps on the internet who you should be ignoring anyway. So stop anthropomorphizing your objects. The second way to get rid of TBR guilt is to ass assess your financial situation. If you feel badly about bringing new books into your house, about spending money on new books when you already own a bunch of unread books, um, then look at your finances. Is this a thing that you can really afford to do? Because if it's not, then you probably should feel a little bad about it and maybe you need to reassess your, your decision-making process. But again, that's your business and it's no one else's business. If you can afford to continue doing it, then who cares? But take a good, honest look at what you're doing to your financial situation and also what you're doing to your storage situation. If you're running out of space or you're acquiring so many new books that you're not reading at a rate that's making other people in your family uncomfortable or have like nowhere to put their stuff because your books are just everywhere, that's also a situation where maybe you want to reassess it. But if you've got the money and you've got the space, it's not a big deal. There's no reason to feel badly about that. Some people spend a lot of money on music. Some people go out to movies every weekend. Some people go out drinking three times a week. Some people have closets full of shoes. You have a lot of books. And whether you've read them or not is your personal business. And I'm gonna say that a lot, but I feel like a lot of guilt that people have about their TBR piles comes externally. It comes from other people judging them for owning that many books that they haven't read or owning that many books at all. And I really think it's important to not accept that judgment from other people because it's not their problem. It's not their life. It's not their hobby. It's yours. So if you can afford it and you've got the space, you do you. There's no reason to feel guilty about it. 
And if you never ever read those books that you've bought, so what? They're not alive, so they don't care. And if you feel like purging one day, you can get rid of the ones you know that you're not going to read. But there's no reason to feel badly about a decision you've already made that made you happy that you could afford and that you had the space for. Okay, the third way to get rid of your TBR guilt is the biggest one, and that is to realize that you're an adult. And again, I'm not saying that flippantly because this is something that I had to realize myself and it took me much longer. I was way over the age of 18. I was way over the age of 25 before I finally realized, you know what? I'm a grown up and I'm gonna do what I want. And what I wanna do is buy a bunch of books and who cares? And that realization was actually totally revelatory for me. I enjoy the trappings of being a reader. I enjoy going to library book sales and dropping 20 bucks for four boxes of books. I think that's awesome and fun. I love the hunt. I love going to indie bookstores and paying $27 for a hardcover sometimes. You know, just the stuff that goes along with being a reader and having books in your house, that's stuff I enjoy. Or the, the stuff of sitting down on your app or your uh, Kindle or your Nook or whatever and scrolling through thousands of titles on your app and picking the one that you're interested in at the moment or picking up one that's on sale that you got a great deal on. That kind of stuff is fun. And you know what, as a grown-up, you deserve to do? Have some fun. Especially if, like I said before, you can afford it and you've got the space and you've got the time. If you're not neglecting your other values because you, by, by having more books in your house than you've read, then there is no problem. And you should not let other people's hang-ups or other people's financial concerns or other people's concerns about how big their apartment is or other people's concerns about how they will never get to read all the books that they want to read in their life affect you and how you feel about doing the thing you enjoy. So that's it. Uh, that's how I got over having guilt about my TBR and now I very happily own lots of books I haven't read and continue to bring more books into my house and I don't care if anybody likes it. I don't care. <laughs> it's great for me. My family doesn't mind. I have plenty of space. I have the money to do it. So get on with your bad book by itself is what I have to say about that. And I'll talk to you guys later.